Hello. Hey. Hi. Hey, this is Andrew from Onyx International. I'm part of the European team based in Barcelona. Where are we now? Look at this beautiful uh, landscape. Barcelona uh, is a pretty co cool city. Of course, it's one of the best cities in, in the world, in Europe, of course. And I have a little bit of jet lag. I just came back from Edix uh, Japan 2019, one of the top education exhibitions in Japan for domestic market in Japan. The show was so great. We show our displays and uh, the ink screen uh, technology for education market, which it, is, is the a, number one show for Japan education. Uh, for education, yes, it is. Uh, it is in Tokyo. And uh, it was great. And uh, today what we are doing here in Barcelona is introducing actually uh, the latest firmware uh, update, which is the 2.1.2. And we're introducing the, the different features, right? So one of the features I'm going to show you here is, trust me, amazing. So is a speech recognition. So in previous videos, we already introduced the handwriting recognition, OCR technology. And now we are introducing the, the speech recognition. So let's go, for example, to some notes, go into the AI system, and then we just long press the space bar where, where we can see a mic, and we can, can start talking. Hello, this is Andreu from Barcelona. We are here in Barcelona next to the harbor, and we are trying the speech recognition, which works pretty good. Okay, it used the Andrea, like I'm Italian, but anyway, yeah. the, the speech is, is, is good. And why is this very good? This is very good for business people, for education, for any type of, of customer. Because if you are in a meeting with your boss and he's talking, for example, you just have your device there and it's con continuously recording everything what you're saying without stop. So by the end of the meeting, you, are, you haven't missed any single word. The same happened with education, for example, or the same happened when you are with your friend talking about the serious business uh, issues, for example. So this is a great feature that we are keeping improved. Look, it hasn't, it hasn't stopped uh, recording my speech so that's great I have everything here recorded besides on the video you are filming now nice and it, it, can, it can even pick up what I'm saying over here uh, we can be talking at the same time from, from and it just has a built-in microphone which is the device we're we're uh, using right here this is a 10.3 inch this is a 10.3 inch which is uh, sold in uh, Europe for 599 euros then there is this is one of our top products and then uh, there is also the the 13.3 inches max 2 which is being sold by uh, for 799 euros and of course we have the latest device which is the 7.8 inches nova pro which is being sold for 319 euros this is uh, a part of the 6 inch devices our portfolio right now so we're in the shade right now here in Barcelona okay, can we go a little short tour uh, some different place yeah, and, uh, and uh, let's try go, some different yeah, features let's go to some sunny place yeah let's go hey so one of the great things of reading with uh, books devices is that with the ink screen which is one of the best in the in this market it's a high resolution one it's right? high resolution one the 10.3 inches is using a 227 dpi screen and uh, as you may know the one of the best things of using this type of ink screen for reading is that you can do it under the sunlight without any type of reflection the difference would be for example when you read ebooks with ipads uh, phones with lcd screens or or uh, laptops for example which you get some reflection and besides the the lcd light the blue light affect your retina directly it's much more healthy to go out in the sun even if it's a little bit windy it's actually good it make, keeps you fresh and you get absorbed into your story of and course then you have some new feature in the firmware right yes and, and besides another yeah besides um, uh, the fact when reading a, a book normal book uh, with a windy day the pages go crazy and with this it's per perfect you don't need to do anything so for example one of the new features we are introducing with the new firmware update 2.1.2 is that when you're in a text you go to scribble option and then you choose the side node which is one of one option we already introduced in the past where you can take your notes of the text on the right side and what we are introducing is that now you can select for example some word that you don't understand let's for example choose a frighted you said and then a, a menu with several options pop out from the top and you have like for example copy 
annotation, translation, and you have this new one which is like going to the dictionary, like kind of a Wikipedia, which will give you the the meaning, will give you the the, nice. the description of the of the word you're looking for. So this is the dictionary. It lasts a few seconds to charge the page. You need to be connected on Wi-Fi to the, on Wi-Fi to, to to get it. But immediately you have here, for example, a Friday. And you have the English, it's an adjective, a Friday. And explain it's terrified. And then they use some examples. It was uh, the one you were reading, right? The Hamlet. Yeah, exactly. All right. And so this would be one of our latest uh, features. Okay, so one of our latest and best firmware features that we have released now that I'm pretty sure it's going to be useful for the end users and they're going to love it is the the fact of using and copy pasting text from any website or any ebook. So you're just in a browser right now? Yeah, I'm in browser. I'm reading some news about the European news and I have just selected one part of the text. I just copy it and then go directly Go directly to the notes, select one note, go to the A file, and just paste it. And I have it already here. So it is very easy. I can export it, I can synchronize it with other devices, and I have already the texts which are important to me. So this is a very useful... So from any document, from any website, you just copy into the notes. Yes, exactly. So that's that's the idea. That's uh, something that we understand the users will love, and uh, we. It's will... been in demand, right? People want this. Yeah, some people will asking up for that because usually they use these devices to read many texts, long texts, and uh, if they don't have this function, it's much more complicated. So, and this and another another good one when when talking about reading texts would be the fact of bookmarking different uh, bookmarking different pages of an ebook or. Or a so you would go in the library and find a book, or where? Yeah, where yeah I'm going to the library here. I'm going to, for example, select one book just for to try, and let's go here and select bookmark this page. Okay, so once we have bookmark, we go to the talk, and we find all the bookmarks we have done. The new thing is that you can give your title. You can uh, give your title to the bookmarks, for example, here, and let's use the speech recognition that we have developed this time. This bookmark is amazing. So you just enter the text with your voice? Yeah. Now, because you keep talking, okay. just enter the text with your always yeah, but of course okay. it's with your voice. Anyway, this bookmark is amazing. If I don't stop it, it continuously... Uh, it's going to be a long title. Uh, yeah, long title. But they, okay. these features are really cool. So you've got some uh, cool... Android hackers? Sure, the reason why we are uh, almost every month or every two months uh, releasing new firmware updates with new uh, improvements is because we have a great uh, software team and the reason is because they, they are the unique or one of the unique that can develop e-ink and Android uh, solu uh, operational system together. All the, co the competition, they, they are not using this solution and of course we have one of the best in the market. So for that reason, we have very competitive products with competitive software, and uh, we can release this type of uh, updates even for our oldest uh, devices. Probably a device that you bought three years ago, it will have also the these updates. And there's another feature that I've been looking forward to very much, and maybe we can check it out, is the sync, right? You have sync now. Yeah, we have the synchronization that can be used uh, in a different ways. And I'm going to show you in my office. So All let's right. go to my office. So let's go to the office. This is your office here in Barcelona? Yes. And uh, here I'm going to show you. The cool sync feature that I, I think is a very exciting potential for e-ink is to sync. Yes, one of the new things that we have developed and which our end users are going to be very happy is the synchronization. We have two types of synchronization. One would be, for example, one we download one note application in our device and we have it, for example, also open in, in, the, in the computer. We can try, for example, to write some notes here.
So it just synchronizes instantly because it's the OneNote app, right? Yes. And that's the cool thing about your Android-based uh, e-ink device is that you can just install any app, so you can install OneNote. Yeah, so what we do is install the APKs of our of the applications we are interested in in our server. So the end user through the app store that we have developed can download these applications afterwards and use them as a regular application. And you have some other sync functions also? Yes, uh, other sync functions would be, for example, if we can synchronize our uh, pre-installed and developed node application, we can, for example, let's erase this first. This is this uh, the note application right now is synchronized with Evernote, as you know Evernote application. So we also have it opened here in the in the computer. So here we have the 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 menu. And that's so, the, the, that's the note document that you synchronize. Yeah, but now I'm going to write something different. Let's write the same. Uh, we are trying. synchronization with node pro this is a 10.3 inch node yes so we are going to save this file because of course the first before synchronization need to be saved into the system and then we just we just select synchronize we already have binned the account previously with evernote and now we just have to wait. And here we have document. Yeah, here we have the document with our notes. Nice. So can I see the page with all the different uh, 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 providers that you can synchronize the notes with so far? Yeah. So initially, the idea is that the end user can synchronize account with Yota, which is a Chinese one, Evernote, Dropbox, and OneNote, for instance. So you just uh, bind the account, you click bind account, and then you can bind, bind them, and then select the one that synchronizes, or synchronize to all the ones you bind. So it um, goes to the, it, also to the OneNote and the Evernote at the same time. Yes, at the same time. It's synchronized in both. Cool. Yeah. And this is a new function from the new firmware. Uh, yes, this is a new function. No, actually, this function was already in the previous, uh, in the version 2.1.1 uh, firmware update, which is the previous one. And But we have, of course, in the very beginning, we had some bugs or some issues, and we have, in the, the latest version, we have improved it more. So now we we can say that we can easily work. This, is, this device is perfect now already. Uh, we could say it's quite mature for the market, for business and the students, since they can easily work. They can... You can recognize the speech for meetings. You can take your notes and directly have them in your computer and send them easily as a, a attached file through the email, etc. So it is very efficient and a dynamic product. Yeah. This is uh, th this is the direction that this kind of product can go. Is you want to have uh, a business people and uh, 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 students be able to work on big documents, synchronize yes. them with their laptop because maybe. You you're typing here on your laptop, you're typing a bunch of text, and then you're going back to scribble some notes, and then you're going back here to type some text, and then you scribble some notes. Yeah. This is the, the, the work process that's really important to, to if you get that uh, really smoothed out, it could be a huge market. So the, the, the main thing is that what we want to do is that the users work with the e-ink screen technology device because it's 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 less harmful for the eyes and since usually nowadays work takes eight to ten hours per day so also students stu uh, study for six to eight hours per day so we understand it is much better for their health uh, they are using a very light device and and also more important the battery life i mean using it every day for six to eight hours it the battery lasts more than more than a week we could say between seven to ten days depend depending on the use of course so this is what we are aiming to and uh, we will for sure keep improving for, to provide a better uh, better devices and better uh, performance what's your experience with the user community um, what does what is the feedback you're getting are, are there some very happy 
professionals that are using books? Uh, yes, we are. We have feedbacks from professionals using this device. Of course, in each country, they are used to their specific uh, ways to work or applications, both for uh, for business and for education. So each one gives you uh, many feedback. Some feedback meet the same requirements as different countries, different users. Some of them are very specific, so we cannot meet all the requirements, but we try to meet the, the most common ones. And uh, so far, the feedback we have is that, hey guys, you are improving your devices. We really like your devices. I hope you, you, can, uh, you can keep improving them. So we, we understand that Books brand is growing and that uh, every time more users will be, will be buying them. Because I can understand, uh, my experience understanding, trying to understand how people make Android devices is not easy to keep them all updated and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But you, you trying hard to, to provide some, some long life. When people buy this device, there's hopefully many years of happy usage, right? Sure. So the good thing is that because as a, as a hardware suppliers, we, we also keep improving the, the devices in terms of hardware. So what we want to do, or what, what we do already is that if this device was bought two years ago for someone, we, we keep improving the firmware versions for this one. So even if he doesn't have, this user doesn't have the latest device, the latest model, at least can, can enjoy of the same features, which is the most important. At the end of the day, I can imagine some people are so excited about this technology, but they have the feature list request is so huge. Like, I want this, I want that, I want this, hmm. and um, it'd be cool if 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 the books company could just do everything. Yes, of course it would be cool, but uh, this is something uh, not impossible, but it's very difficult. Of course, you can then focus in every market, and probably who knows in the future if we grow enough, we can have the ability to focus in each specific market and provide. Uh, software uh, updated for every specific market, but so far we need to 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 keep growing step by step and to provide uh, applications and usages that can be used for everyone. And I guess you still have a little bit of jet lag. You just came back from Japan. What is, I guess some of the requests were similar. Yeah, there was probably some education people over there at the edX conference. They yes. were like, "Ah, oh, we would like this to work for the school to synchronize or something." Yeah, so something that we have realized in Japan is that uh, Japan, even if it's a very well-developed country in terms of education, uh, they are still a little bit, a little bit traditional. So they are using some LCD devices for 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 classrooms, but uh, probably for the Ying, we still need to wait a little bit more until someone tries for the first time and introduce this system our education system or any other but using the e-ink screen technology devices and then i think that it could, it's going to be a boom it's going to grow very fast so far uh, the, the 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 exhibition was very good japanese customers were impressed about uh, how our devices work and about our education system and let's see it just finished let's see if, if we can get some some new accounts. And I guess in China there's a lot of things happening, right? Books is doing lots of stuff for the education over there? Yeah, of course. For China is our, one of our most developed uh, markets because companies originate from there. And uh, we have developed already some uh, education projects for kids. Uh, we have some marketing material videos showing that. And uh, so we try to, to keep the same system for other countries. But of course, in every country, Every market has different specifications in terms of education, so we we are open for customization and make it suitable for for each market. Yeah, I think uh, I think the potential is huge if you just have the right kind of like synchronizing features, the other kind of little features. This could be so huge; it could be like world famous solution for everything. Yeah, that that would be great. And not just not just for education, but as we are we are a 11 years old professional of the e-ink technology, Onyx International, and so we also can provide solutions for uh, retail tax for for supermarkets or stores. We can provide big signage signage screens, 42 inches or 31.2 inches, for advertisement indoor and outdoor, which is uh, less consume consuming than a LCD screens. So we have different solutions. But uh, when we focus about the retail market, education and business, this would be the, the best solution so far. And now you have the 7.8 inch, more affordable. 
Yes, 7.8 inches, which is retailing about 320 euros in the market right now. And uh, it has the same features, just the only difference would be the the RAM, the storage and the, and the size of the screen. But all, all the things is the same, so it is also a very good option. Hey, and by the way, if you have any re uh, requests regarding the features you would like on the device or some comments or some you need any help uh, or even if it's for your own business, B2B, you want to distribute our books products in your country, just please drop me an email, uh, andreo uh, at onyx-international.com. We'll put the email under the video. Yes, thank you. And people can write comments under the video too and you'll check them. Of course, I will check all of them and try to answer on time. If there is any other problem, we can connect directly to the technical support from our company and will be easily helped. I hope you sell a billion devices. I also hope so. <laughs> I think it's potentially could happen. The price needs to come a little bit down, but that can happen with volume. Of course, of course. Sure. If, this, if you sell big quantities, we'll see what happens. If you have big quantities, it will be for sure. <laughs>